British Prime Minister Theresa May has signed the letter that will formally kick off the process for the UK's exit from the European Union. Giving official notice under Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, the letter will be delivered to European Council President Donald Tusk later today. In a statement in the Commons, May will then tell MPs this marks the moment for the country to come together. It follows June's referendum which resulted in a vote to leave the EU. The British Parliament backed May's Article 50 plan earlier this month, after six weeks of debate. The EU is expected to issue a first response to Britain on Friday, followed by a summit of EU leaders on April 29 to adopt their own guidelines, meaning it could be weeks before formal talks start. Both sides have also said they are keen to resolve the status of more than 3 million European nationals living in Britain after Brexit, and 1 million British expats living in the EU. The letter is to be hand-delivered to European Council President Donald Tusk in Brussels by British Ambassador to the EU Tim Barrow and copies are to be sent to the other 27 EU member states. In a speech to Parliament designed to coincide with the letter's delivery, May's office says she will tell the House of Commons Wednesday that she'll seek the right deal for every single person in this country, including EU nationals. She will urge Britons to unite as the country begins a momentous journey. We are one great union of people and nations with a proud history and a bright future. And, now that the decision has been made to leave the EU, it is time to come together, she is to say. May will tell MPs that she wants to represent every person in the UK, including EU nationals, in negotiations. Scotland and Northern Ireland voted overwhelmingly to remain in the EU, while England and Wales, with a much larger combined population, voted to leave. Many business leaders are deeply uneasy about May's decision to leave Europe's single market, a free trade area of 500 million people, fearing its impact on jobs and economic growth. The Brexit vote sent the pound plunging, although economic growth has been largely stable since then. On Tuesday, Scotland's semi-autonomous parliament backed a call by its nationalist government for a new referendum on independence before Brexit, or Brexit, 